Good morning. Track day today. Chuck Walla Valley Raceway. Let's get it done. Boston Green. Is that Mod Modena interior, right? I think so. Take a step. Beautiful. Next to that thing. Hey, what's going on guys? Today I thought I'd do something a little different for you guys. We're going to go ahead and put two uh, session PBs side by side. So on the bottom is going to be my personal best for my second session. And the top is going to be my personal best for my third. Uh, on the bottom I run a 159.9 and on top I run a 157.9. And uh, by the time these laps are over you'll see it. Two seconds is like a full eternity. Uh, when crossing that finish line but um, we're at Chuck Walla we're running it clockwise overall temps were pretty good uh, it started to get a little hot towards the end of the day but um, the last session actually cooled down quite a bit and uh, I was able to get an uh, even better PB which is going to follow this video um, but yeah we uh, I mean, you, look, you notice that I'm able to carry a lot more speed I have a lot more confidence between the two sessions in the car I'm hitting my apexes better and uh, yeah th it's just really just a lot of confidence that's what really helped me uh, in my first session I was I didn't have any oversteer issues not once did the rear end kick out so my third session I really wanted to see where the limit was of the grip and uh, yeah I just kind of sent it you know and although it may look crazy like when you're turning really fast in some of these sweepers it may look like you're uh you know obviously we're not taking turns on the street at 90 95 plus miles an hour um but here at chuck Walla, some of these turns are extremely fast and uh it's so obviously something you're not used to visually so it kind of it's a mental uh mental block but once you're able to break through that um that's when your lap times really start shaving down um full seconds so uh, I mean, you can see here I'm almost a full turn ahead of my second session, and um, yeah, it's just all a mental. It was all just a mental game for me. Uh, once I overcame that, uh, I had a great exit right there on the last turn right there uh, up top. But uh, once you over overcome that, you'll be good. Um, but yeah, here is the second video. Um, let's see. Up top, I think is going to be the 157.0, and then the bottom will be the 157.9. So I think this is it. Yeah, this should be it. So slight differences in lines between the two laps. Um, turn one almost looks like I apex just a little bit later, but I'm, I'm able to carry a, a little bit more speed and probably gain about a full car length coming on to this stretch um, breaking later and then I feel like I got a perfect apex on this sweeper right here the double apex hit that one perfectly and then hit this one pretty spot on as well now I, I'm using the cones as reference for my apexes that's why they're there um, it's kind of like a cookie cutter line for everyone to use but um, it's always good to have reference points and you know thank god they put those out there because at Chuckwalla there ain't shit out there this turn going up to this hill up to the the chicane I carry a lot more speed I break a lot less and I definitely made up some time um, I think if I would have followed Eric's line right there I definitely could have been in the 56's maybe even a 55 um, the line I was using clearly gave Eric uh, many uh, car lengths exiting going onto that straight so that'll be something I change up next time um, heading up towards the bowl carrying as much seat as possible tap the brakes turn in uh, I think I'm carrying about the pretty much the same speed top and bottom for this lap uh, you really there's a there's a certain point where you carry too much speed and you start scrubbing and that just slows you down even more 
I think I got a bad apex right there up top. I got a better one on the bottom. And then on the, oh no, actually, on the top I was actually apex and perfect. On the bottom I was hitting it just a slight bit early. But this last turn, I kind of fucked myself. It's a closing radius apex. And um, on the top, clearly I'm riding the inside the entire time. And you see Eric pull again and um, go further off into the distance. So I got to clean up two corners pretty much. I mean, obviously there's room everywhere to improve, but... Um, from what I can definitely tell, those two turns that I mentioned definitely need some improvement, some line cleanup um, to definitely get into those 55s. Uh, but I have no doubt that next track day out there I'll be able to do it. Um, it's always fun to go out and compete against yourself, which is pretty much all these are about. You're not really racing anyone. Um, yeah, just that's all it comes down to. So if you guys are uh, new to my channel, my name is Gabe. I uh, do a lot of track content and content on my m3 and my uh, gt3 if you have any questions please drop it in the comment section or dm me on instagram other than that i'll see you guys in the next video later